Senna. Pals! I can hear your nose, Achara. You whistling nose Can you give bastard. me a tissue, please? Thank you. Sorry, that was quite rude. <laughs> I apologize. What? What are you even talking about? I yelled at you. May I have a tissue? I'm sorry. That was a bit aggressive. <laughs> I don't even I don't know. I don't know what happened. Because I was just like, can I have a tissue, please? It's very aggressive of me. I shouldn't have done it that Excuse guy. me. Oh, hold on. Oh, Jesus. I was a bit much. Hello. <laughs> I don't know, understand like how much quieter you can possibly get. No, it's just because I yelled at you and I'm sorry. Cause mm. you, you were, you're always making fun of my whistly nose. You do have a whistly nose. This makes music. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kawe, joined by the one, the only, the Dirky Kirk Dunkirk, <laughs> Achar Kirk. And so we are watching Echo, 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 Echo. Wow, that joke never gets old. I wonder how many other YouTubers, people in general, dads, have made that joke. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please. Vota this up, let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching, if you're watching on YouTube. And if you are, you're seeing a cut down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the entire thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You'll just need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up the show side by side with our reaction we give you three two one countdown sync and it's like you're watching with two of your favorite buddies friends from the internet if you're watching on patreon or memberships already thanks so much for supporting us here this intro has gotten way too long so we're just going to start the show are we watching um colors of the echo the light horseman <laughs> that's cute Dang. Is he cool with it? Oh, I guess not. This is very strangely executed. How so? Because it's modeled after, you know, the way they sh used to show movies. Right. But it's not doing it... The way that they did it. The way that... At, at all. Yeah, because you're watching... Because it would have been more like like a picture, right? It would be l a little less movie. <laughs> or Locked off, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, because it was hard enough to, like, just get things working. Yeah. So... Well, back in that day, they actually had to crank the reel. Yeah. And you'd actually see the people talking, like Buster Keaton. Mm -hmm. And then it would show the text. Oh, gosh. Suddenly become quite ominous. It's a trap. Uh-oh. That looks cool. That was really pretty. Oh, white screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that represents, uh, I guess, like, the ancestors or the spirit realm or whatever. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I almost wish they actually took an old film camera and actually with like the crank and everything and mm -hmm. actually shot it that way. Oh, if, yeah. If that's the look you're going for. It's like if you want it to feel old timey and like, you know, janky, rough around the edges, just shoot it with one of those old cameras. You can get one. You're Disney. You can get one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like how expensive would that be? And the process? Well, everything. And would they want to spend it on this show? I don't but think it would be that expensive, honestly. Really? I mean, no. I don't think it'd be that expensive. For the level of money they're spending on the show already, I don't think it would add that much more to the budget. And I would have done it, I would have shot it like the old way, like they did Buster Keaton films, you know? Like actually have them say the things and then you just cut to the words on the screen. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I will agree with you on that choice where it's like, it kind of felt like it was only doing it halfway. Half, no half measures, Walter. <laughs> no, I get you. Oh, what's this? This gets near total my truck doing who knows what. 
He's covering for Maya. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. Yeah, but that's your fault. Everything I've done has been to protect my family. You lost your daughter. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter, too? Maybe you should just listen for once. Well, he's definitely not getting lucky later. I'm wondering the significance of her being a postal worker. Some kind of symbolism. She's the deliverer of information, you know? I promise you, man, Maya's here. We're still a few hours out. Tonight, have a ready wait for my call. Ooh, God. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Dang it. Could you not have warned her, like, a little bit earlier? Where was she? Where was she going? To her house. Uh oh. No bueno. Maybe she could just shimmy her leg out of her thing. I don't know. I guess it would have to be pretty secure. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon, Miss Kirk. <laughs> right ahead of you. Uh oh. I love the disco setting, though. I kind of wish they showed subtitles of like the words she can make out. That's exactly what I was thinking because I was wondering that too. I'm like, at this point, she must be able to read lips somewhat. So it would make sense if we could see that. I gotta be out front when he gets here. I will babysit her since you two are too chicken shit. Fine. Oh no. Hello? Shut up, shut up. Is that what's her name? The um, Her friend from when she was a kid? Yeah, her cousin, Bonnie. Sorry, her cousin. I think it's her cousin. Oh. Uncle Henry? Uncle Henry? Oh, gosh. Hey. Oh, hey, my God. I tried the front. Yeah, sorry. Not a good time. I just have some questions I want to ask you. How about you call me tomorrow? Yeah. Is there anything I can do? No, no, no. I'm good. Probably shouldn't have deducted all that mileage on all those pairs of skates. I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. I need to learn sign language. I know. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. Oh, she's going to call it in. It wouldn't work with you, though. Yeah, it'd Dispatch. be too obvious, huh? You'd be Dispatch. like, why are you signing at me? Why are you telling me to go? What? Can you do that again? I, uh, I didn't see that. What are you saying? What's wrong with your hand? It looks like you're sign languaging at me. It's, it's signing. <laughs> I know, Chara, but it's like, that's... It would go real slick with you. Uh-oh. This is not how you planned your reunion. And your hands are tied. How are you going to chat? Ooh! Would you calm down? She got an upgrade. <laughs> what? You like had such a reaction to the little knife coming out of her boot. That's cool. <laughs> like we haven't seen that before. Have we? Have we though? Just in movies in general, it's like no, that's... but we haven't seen it in this. He gave her an upgrade. <laughs> that was such a big reaction. Oh. <laughs> Hey, excuse me while I just don't react for the entire episode now. That's fine, Achara, do you? Okay, whatever. That's bullshit? I gotta remember that. Yeah, bullshit. Oh, she did the thing? No, but you don't have to do the whole thing. You can just, you know. Bullshit. Quickly, though, he's almost here. Her zip ties told you I heard something. Whoa, 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 don't shoot her. If she's dead when they get here, we ain't getting paid. Guns down. I can talk to her. <laughs> Tell your gimpy friend to put her zip ties back on. This is our fault. We're letting him do the tying. <laughs> Tell your gimpy friend. <laughs> 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 yeah, go. Need her alive. 
Get out of here! Did they dub his voice? I don't know. Most of the time his that he's talking, he's not he's not on camera. <sighs> They're here. Hurry, have fun. Let's go. I got her, I got her. They left her. Oh, maybe there is still an opportunity for an attack with a roller skate or a roller blade. That would just like make my day. You're the guy then. Yeah, I'm the guy. Vicky. Vicky. Vicky's dead. Keep some money safe while I assess his situation. You don't think I'd walk in with the money, do you? Of course not. When the gig's done, ring pops on me. You can look us up, right, bro? Oh, God. He's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking, you show me that money first and make sure it's all there. Dude. Like, I need to know that you have it. What is she building? A roller skate gun. I don't know. Oh, like a... Like a, um... A crossbow? A cro thank you. Yes. <laughs> a pew pew thing. <laughs> <laughs> this poor woman. What do you mean this poor woman? She's like, she's not having a good day. She's the one that's always left behind. I mean, I get it. She's a bad guy. She's a bad guy. But still. This poor woman. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> she made some bad choices, sure. Come on. I'm sorry I have empathy. <laughs> Oh. oh no. What? Uh oh. I thought she was gonna like shoot her up with a dart. I know. Ah, uh, looky looky. Is that Henry Black Crow? No person. He's to see me. Look at you all tied up. You guys are screwed. Was something wrong? No. How about let's all go out and you show me that money? You catch that, brothers? What? Look, there's no problem. Biggie wants to go out. Take him out. I knew it. <laughs> Bye, Vicky. Yeesh. Thanks again, Vicky, for the odd tip. The suit's just headed for the parking lot. I got it. I want you. You're the one who's going to give me the answers to my question. <laughs> Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really possible for Rob Zombie's music to be too loud? Come on now. Oh, dang. Oh. Oh, never mind. Damn. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Don't you need a coin for that? <laughs> Look, Token. She she knows the hacks. Oh no. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't chuck it at his head. Well, she doesn't want him to hurt her cousin. Who the hell is that calling him? Kingpin? I? Well, I thought. Yeah, I understand that. I'm sorry, I... Let me just... Let's go! I guess you're right. Thanks. Caught up to us both. If... The offer... Still stands. I'm helping you. I forgot what the offer was. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. He's so cute. You uh, don't uh, like it. That's for her leg. If you uh, don't uh, like it, 
I could uh, paint it matte black. <laughs> wow. Where do you get that material from? Wakanda. I don't get in uh, family business since your uh, grandmother not together no more. You uh, won't go see her. We all do things we wish were different. That's awesome. Well, she's gonna have to wear pants over that. It does look cool. Yeah. Although going back to her grandmother, it's like at this point, someone has to reach out first, right? Like, who's gonna have the least amount of ego? So she's gonna talk to her grandma? Not sure. Oh no! Sorry. Were you really that surprised, Achara? No, I didn't know he'd be standing right there. Why would... Okay, whatever. Sorry. I'll shut up now. If she wasn't going to see the grandmother, it was going to be talking to him. That was my assumption. Oh, no, don't end here. Please, keep going. <laughs> oh, cliffhanger. Dang it. <laughs> so thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Jabby Koe. <laughs> the show has got a beginning, middle, and end. I don't know, man. There was some cool stuff with the in the roller skating rink, I suppose. It feels a little bit discombobulated to me. Is that just me that feels that? It, it feels a little clunky. Like, even in the action sequences there, it's like they have these ideas, and I'm like, okay, cool, I see what you're doing. But it doesn't feel like, I don't know, did they not have enough time to do it? Or is it just like half-hearted when they're doing it? I'm not sure. You know, like they had cool shots. For instance, uh, I, I think she was sending someone into a pinball machine or something or mm. through a, an arcade glass and it was like yeah. overhead. I'm like, that's a dope shot. I like that. They had some cool ideas. And then they had a moment where it's like, it's her perception without any sound as she's going through the fight. I'm like, I feels like they're not, com there's like a lot of ideas and they're just trying to get them all in there. You know what I mean? And it mm -hmm. feels like there's a way they could have gone about this that felt more effective. For instance, <clears throat> They got the Rob Zombie music playing and they couldn't make a decision between whether or not they wanted to make it feel like a horror movie or see her take these guys down. So they just kind of did both. It's like, what is the tone you're setting? It's just, it's inconsistent. This is all the subconscious stuff that you're kind of giving the audience. And so it just feels kind of like a blender as opposed to a mood. Right. You know? Well, even with that Rob Zombie music or whatever, I was a little bit confused because like there was maybe one person or yeah about one person who was like trying to plug his ears two. and like or two people yeah. who were like oh it was really loud and then everyone else it was kind of like yeah we're fine and so i was left thinking like okay either it's not that loud or they're just really sensitive to sound or like everyone else is like half deaf. Well, yeah, I mean, like, so I I didn't understand why it was such a big deal to it's not try a and turn off the music. It, you know? That speaks to the lack of commitment to a choice. Yes. You know, like it should be everyone. It has the same effect on everybody, right. except for Echo or you know, whatever her name is. So Maya. Maya. Um, and so yeah, the way that I feel like that could have been done is like you have to make a decision. Either it's from her perspective, so that you you just take out all the audio. And it's her kind of observing the guys going through and taking them out one by one, right? Mm -hmm. And so that creates sort of a scary feeling because you're in the driver's seat of her head, like John, being John Malkovich, and you're sort of experiencing her experience of being an assassin and having to like visually look out harder because you don't have your audio to, to work off of, right? Yeah. So there's that. Or you have the, the Rob Zombie music front and center and you're going about it kind of like the introduction of Batman, like actually Batman in Batman Begins, where it feels like almost like a horror film where these guys are just getting snatched up and taken out. It's like, who's doing this? Where are you? Here. You know, like yeah. that kind of buildup. It's like that is, it's and so it feels like just a mishmash of stuff in not the most 
elegant way for me. That's my feeling about it. But they did have some cool moments, the choreography and whatever, when she was like fighting guys and like kicking them and like blood flying onto the disco ball or whatever. I'm like, okay, there's some, there's some neat stuff happening. It's I like the way she moves. Yeah. I like the decisions that they've made in terms of how this character moves, like her movement language, I really enjoy. Like there is a, a certain sort of coolness and elegance to the way that she executes those moves and how she uses her prosthetic foot to do things to, to great effect. Yeah. You know, like I enjoy that. I think that they could have made better use of the her inability to hear stuff. Like maybe it's, they, they feel like it's risky, but it's like you're already, I feel like you're already taking a risk with this kind of show where you're forcing people to look at subtitles a lot. So might as well go all the way and, and you know, and have a maximum amount of fun with it. And so like you, you, you have whatever she's able to hear, you know, through vibrations and stuff like that mm -hmm. and have the, a lot of the fight scene take place like that. But maybe they're afraid it's not gonna have as much impact. I don't know, but they had like a fleeting second of where you just had her audio as she was fighting. And I'm like, why not just go the, all the way like that? That would have been interesting to me, you know? Sure, sure. Um, but they made the choices that they made. Well, they, yes. they were trying to split the difference between that and the stylistic way of doing it. And I'm like, that's cool, I guess. I would have rather just them picked one and, and commit to it and do it. You know, either go full stylistic or, or go full from her perspective, because then you're painting a picture. It's like you're, you're creating a mood and a vibe. And right now it just feels like a lot of stuff. Um, I'm still not a fan of the, the grandmother actress. When they had that shot of her with all the other um, Native Americans in the gathering mm -hmm. and she's kind of looking off to the side. I think what I'm supposed to be thinking is she's thinking about Echo. I, yes. th I think that's what I'm supposed to be feeling, right? Yes. But for me, when I'm watching that, I'm like, it just feels like she's looking off to the side. I'm not really getting the sense of she is concerned about somebody. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, and and there's a lot of that in the show where I'm just, I feel like people are just sort of being placed like mannequins and it's not, I'm not really feeling a vibe. I'm not really feeling emotional contact or content with these characters. Sure. You know, is that just me? I don't know, like, okay. No, I mean, I, I do kind of, yes, I see what you're saying there and I don't entirely disagree. So okay. there's that. I want to like it, you know, I'm watching and I'm like, I want to be into this. She's a cool character. No, I think she's cool. For me, yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying um, a lot of the Native American touches that they've added to this. Like that scene that you were talking about where you didn't like uh, what the grandma was doing. I can see that. After a while, it got to be a little bit strange because it was just like, oh, okay. She's literally just staring in a really intense way off to the side. But I was enjoying the music. I thought that like, the song was was really nice. I obviously I I don't know the significance of that song, but I was like, oh, that's really that's really cool. Kind of like how they're trying to weave the culture into the show, and then the fact that she gets given that really cool like thing to put on her leg, you know, to kind of represent her people and all that. I thought that was okay. pretty the, awesome. This is going to be a bit of an ironic statement, but it just lacks spirit. You know, it's like you watch something like um, True Detective, uh -huh. the first season. There is like a spirit to that show. There's a feeling, there's a mood. I've never and, and you, seen it. Oh my God, it's fantastic. And it's like, there is a vibe that you're feeling the entire time. This does not have that whatsoever. There's no vibe. There's no attitude that I'm that I'm I'm being sure. wrapped up in. It's just like stuff is happening. I'm just trying to find positives. No, but I'm saying like, okay, my hope is that like the creators of the show hear what I'm saying, you know, hopefully, so that they can take that as a as a tiny like grain of salt, that, you know, to inform their next move. That's all, because that's the only way you get better. They have some cool ideas, but it. After that, you gotta, you know, execute it well. And so that's my whole thing is there's just no tone, there's no voice. Everything is just kind of a mishmash. And there's no voice, that's ironic. No, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Even with the beginning, it's like it was half a uh, half measure of like, okay, we got this cool idea. Yeah. That's like, that, yeah. that is a cool idea. I agree it's, with you. It's a very cool idea. It's just yeah. the way it was done was just kind of like, it was uh, funny enough, it was the same issue. I know that I'm gonna be the only one that feels this way. Um, it was the same issue I had with much of um, WandaVision because they wanted to make it feel like an old show, but then they were doing like things and putting the camera in places that you would never do in an old show. So it kind of took me out of it. I'm like, what do you either right. commit or don't, you know? But I guess most people aren't going to be as bothered no. by that stuff. No, not Although, at all. Although like speaking of like, you know, other shows or whatever that have 
done it not as well or, or better. I thought that they did a good job of that in Werewolf by Night. Yes, they did. I agree. But, you know, if you want to go for something older, you got to, like, commit to it. You know, the way you look at the in-between portions of Better Call Saul, where it feels like an old infomercial or old VHS mm -hmm. yeah. thing, it really feels like old footage. You know, they committed to it. And they might have even shot it with old cameras and stuff like that. And it, and it looks great. So when you're aiming for something like that, you got to find a way to make it feel as authentic as possible. And right now it feels kind of like more of a nod to that era as opposed to feeling like footage from that era. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting hints of Maya's connection to her ancestors and stuff like that. Um, and I think that music would have been a great way. Like you're talking about how much you like the, the music from time to time. I feel like they could have gone harder in with the soundtrack to kind of guide us towards that feeling of spirituality and connection to the ancestry and stuff like that in the way that it's edited a little bit more like aggressive in that direction. Because right now it just kind of comes and goes. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. It's like, it kind of just reminds you like this is what's coming as opposed to it feeling like that's actually informing anything. Oh, I don't understand, sorry. Okay. In the scene with the where 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 she's sneaking around the guys with the with the black lights, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. It feels like there are opportunities for her to get hit by the connection that she has, and that sort of informs her movement and stuff like that. I don't know really what this trajectory is for this character because but didn't they do that in the scene when she was using her roller skate gun and she was just to set it up? Channel, yeah. But like then what? It was again a half measure. It's like what what are you doing here? You know what I mean? It, it, just, it feels like, oh, remember that? Yeah. And then they and then it goes away. It didn't really feel like it had bearing on what was going on. It felt like just a reminder to the audience. Hey, remember, she's got a connection. OK, and what? What's the what's the trajectory of the show? Because she's I'm trying to look at it like the, from a writing standpoint. What does this character want? She wants to become queen pin, right? Mm -hmm. But what is actually going to happen with this character? She's going to find her connection to her spiritual ancestors and become a more powerful version of herself, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not really getting the, uh, you know, Avatar Last Airbender sense of like this slowly leveling up of her connection to her. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you play a video game, you know, you get, you know, a power no, no, here and there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just yeah, not yeah. getting that. It feels like w whatever she's doing here, she's already been capable of doing that. There's nothing like new really happened. I think I disagree. Okay. Because um, in the scene on the train in the previous episode, like she didn't realize that she had that strength when like the glowy things came out of her hands. She didn't realize that she could be that strong or whatever. And then here I felt that the the super accurate aim was probably a new thing that she Okay, I'm glad you brought that had. up with the hand thing, right? So, let's say she's she's going about this this uh, situation and she's fighting the guys in the skater rink because she didn't go about it perfectly. She was beating them up, but she was also getting hit. Mm -hmm. But maybe the move is she's not doing very well. Like she's capable, but these guys are kind of messing her up. And she's down on her knee and she's not sure what to do. She's feeling cornered and she looks at her hands and they start glowing and she's feeling that connection and she stands up and now she's fucking them up. You They're see what I'm saying? They're gonna save that for a fight with Kingpin then. Why not have it here? This is halfway because through the show. These guys are like freaking goons, okay? You don't blow your wad on goons. You're not blowing your wad. They showed you from episode one of Avatar The Last Airbender, Aang's connection with with being, you know what I'm saying? Like there's ways to go about it where you're not blowing your wad, but you're giving the audience a taste of it. Okay. That's all. Her pushing the train back is okay. It's like, okay, great. I need more than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. So I, I don't know. I, I'm just not feeling it. That's all. But I'm glad you are. I'm glad you guys I know, are. Honestly, this episode wasn't my favorite. Um, Even like the dialogue with with pops or the grandpa, where he gave her the things, and they're talking, and I'm look, I'm I'm like really paying attention to the dialogue, and I'm like, what have they said here that's new? Sometimes you're allowed to talk about something that's already familiar, and achieve something new, through the familiarity, and maybe this time the characters are looking at it differently, but she didn't go to her grandma, she went home, and so I'm like, what was the point of all that? I don't know. Are you I'm asking, genuinely I'm, I'm, asking I'm, genuinely, I'm genuinely asking you for the alternate perspective and tell me I'm wrong because I want to be wrong here. Like I'm watching that scene. I'm just like, I don't know what the point of this dialogue is. They're saying nothing new. 
They're like, well, she, he, he's restating what the grandma feels. She's and she, like, she's, she's kind of, never, the grandma has never actually said that she is broken hearted about Maya. She was upset that her daughter died and she didn't like the man that she chose to spend her life with. And so in her grief, she was like, yeah, you guys can piss off. Like, I don't want anything to do with you. You you may leave. And so I don't think it's been said outright, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's been said outright that she misses Maya or anything like that. And so I think that information- Well, the show, the show also, that hasn't been shown to us either though, in a hint. Like him saying it is the is the problem of, I'm not, right. I'm not disagreeing it, with you, but it's a problem of, of, of talking instead of showing. Telling instead of showing, sorry. Yeah, but that's that was the purpose, was to, right. to, to tell, not show. And how did that affect Maya? What did she do as a result? I think it gives her something to think about. Sure, she didn't go and see her grandma right away, but then the show gave us a, a moment where it's like, oh, clearly grandma's thinking about her. You know, well, you're supposed to project that she's thinking about her. And then, you know, Maya's kind of going, oh, okay, but like, who's going to have less of an ego and actually reach out to the other. Maybe they never will because they both are too, you know. I, all right. I feel like there's ways they could have done this and made it interesting and told me that visually. Sure. But you know, like for instance, this is the worst idea possible, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Maybe like at the at the gathering, maybe the grandmother's got a necklace, a locket of some kind, right? And at the gathering, she's like not really in it with everybody and she's got something in her hand. And we look and in her hand is a locket that we've seen the entire show and it's, it's Maya. We're like, okay, she's thinking about Maya. Okay. Something, that's an idea, right? Uh, and then, oh my gosh, Maya is actually walking up to the gathering and she sees her grandma, but the time's just not right and she leaves. But at least like that dialogue got us something. Like she was at least considering talking to her grandmother, but she, but she's took a baby step in that direction, but she's not just, she's just not ready for it. Yeah. They had all the ingredients there to make this so much better. I feel like it was rushed. That's the thing though. It's easy for us to say like, oh, they, oh, they could have just released it later. They could have blah, 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 blah. But like, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes if someone at Disney or Marvel or whatever is like, no, we have to release this now because of reasons. X, right. Y, Z. That's fair. Things are coming out. That's or fair. the writer's strike and actor's strike Absolutely. things to be delayed. And yeah. As the, as the guy paying for Disney Plus each month, that's not my burden. My burden is to like watch a show and make sure I have a good time. And I'm not <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. It's all right. You know, yeah. they're charging like triple what they did when this first launched. So <laughs> my expectations go a little bit higher. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Anyway. All right. You guys. I just want Daredevil back. Is that too much to ask? I was thinking that I was like, oh, can we have some, some Daredevil, please? Some Matt Murdock. Sure. Just bring him back. Yeah. I know we're getting a show, but still. Like, they teased us with him, and then it's like, ah, just kidding. He's not, he's not back. But you get, you get Kingpin now. You get Wilson Fisk for like a second. And I think, I think maybe that's what this show is, is missing right now. It's like, okay, can you bring the big bad guy now? Like, we need him. <sighs> I understand what they're doing though. They want to, the, the goal is to get you wrapped up in this other world, to, to know her world. That's the goal. And I'm like, I get that. I, for, for a show that's about her connection, I have no connection. You know, I just don't, I'm not having a connection with what's happening. Sure. I feel completely disconnected. We needed more biscuits, that's what. Yeah, something. It's, it's, it's kind of going, you know what I mean? That Actually, that's a good point that you just brought up. It, it's kind of going a bunch of different directions and it's it feels sort of like, I understand what the goal is, but somehow yet it still feels kind of aimless. You know? Sure. Anyways, you guys, thank you for hanging with us. If you're still here. If you're still, I'm hoping episode four and five, like it's entirely possible four and five just blow me away. Ah, uh, yeah. You know? I um, like it too. Uh, I, I would, me too. I know that doesn't sound like, because people just think I'm a curmudgeon. I would like four and five to be amazing and blow me away. So fingers crossed and you guys stay healthy. All right. I'm Chappie Coy. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.